everyone. Welcome back to the Tools and Channel. I hope you had a good lunch. I'm Clarice Lin, your host for today. If you've just joined us, feel free to introduce yourself in the comment section and tell us where you're from. I'm Clarice Lin from the UK. If you've just uh, joined me today, the first time in this channel. And I'm delighted to bring to you for the first session after lunch, a very excellent uh, speaker, a digital marketing expert from Lithuania, Arimus Polyas. Gish, yes, I hope I pronounced that correctly. That, that's so, correct. Um, awesome. Thank you. So he's a digital marketing expert with over 12 years of experience in running successful performance marketing campaigns and educating others on the subject. He is a Google certified trainer and has spent 11 years as a professor of e-commerce at ISM University of Management and Economics. For the past four plus years, he has been running APG Media, a performance media agency. Arimus has a deep understanding of Google's advertising platforms and is passionate about sharing his knowledge with others. And he has built a very successful business that delivers results for his clients and has dedicated his career to the world of digital marketing. And today we have him sharing with us about how to use AI in managing daily marketing campaigns. And I think this is very essential for all of us who has been very familiar. We've heard of ChatGPT and all the new tools that's been rolling out. So we'll be able to get really good insights. If you have any questions, don't forget to put it down in the comment section. Our knowledge partners, Pact and Manning, will be awarding the most active attendees who rate sessions and leave comments with free eBooks. So without further ado, let's welcome Arimas to the stage. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Aurimas Paulus Gircis. Um, I'm originally from Lithuania. I was born in Lithuania. I, I um, most of the time live in Lithuania and work uh, at APG Media, which is my baby that um, we developed um, and um, sort of and expanded into other markets. Currently, I'm staying in Spain. Um, and um, and this is where I am, uh, you know, delivering this presentation from. And my idea when I first created uh, this uh, topic and the outline for the topic was um, to present uh, technologies and tools that we were using um, at uh, the point, you know, when um, the topic was presented. And then about a couple of months later, uh, into the topic, uh, Chat GPT was born, and it just like you know changed 99% uh, of the presentation because um, that solution changed our life. Uh, just the way I think maybe like Gmail uh, changed it when it was born because I mean I was very very excited when Gmail came up. It was like wow, finally there's an email client that does work, and finally there's something that is amazing um, right there. And then, like you know, a couple of years later, you forget about how awesome it was, and they just use it every single day. Um, and at this point, uh, I think we as an agency are at the point where we're super excited about using uh, ChatGPT for everything. We, I mean, we we just use it for every single task and activity. And I will showcase you some examples, so you know how we do that. And um, it will not be only about ChatGPT. It will be also about some other solutions that are, you know, that you can use uh, right away. Um, I will showcase not only the benefits and pros of, uh, you know, those solutions, including ChatGPT, but also the downsides. Um, you know that that tech really enjoys lying, and it really enjoys making up stuff. So I will showcase those examples of making up stuff when it doesn't work and when you just have to fix it yourself and you want, or I want this to be, you know, and this all in one solution that you just click the button and it does all the job for you. But sadly, sadly, you know, there's some, some human brain activity still needed uh, for this to work and to be, uh, you know, as efficient as it can be. So APG Media is a part of all digital group. We're a group of companies. There are five companies in, in our group. Uh, all of them are very tech savvy. All of them are into digital marketing. All of them are into e-commerce. And um, a company called Electronic Lab creates businesses and e-shops 
Team Partner creates uh, web designs and landing pages and banners. We optimize campaigns. Bebold is working on Shopify campaigns and Shopify uh, stores. Video Lab creates just amazing videos for e-commerces. And the whole group of the companies is focused on um, helping e-commerces grow and uh, expand to various markets. Uh, a little bit about our team, uh, like Larissa mentioned, we're a team of uh, certified marketers and certified professionals. I personally have over 12 years of experience working with international clients. My experience started, um, I think, over my, my professional career, funnily, started uh, over 15 years ago when I decided to give up political science and international relations and left to South Korea to study marketing and um, and, and economics. And this is where I developed my passion, you know, towards digital marketing. I came back to Europe after that and um, started working with uh, Google Ads and uh, and Facebook was being born at that time as well. So it was a very interesting experience. So I wanted to start this presentation with the solutions and tools that I use every single day. Um, I don't want just to showcase, you know, this is the case study that we did. It was awesome, 99% uplift. Everything is awesome. You know, there's uh, a narrow pointing up. I want to showcase every single solution that I use in my daily life as well. Um, and I want to explain why I do that. And I believe that this is valuable for you as well. So guess what brand that is? That That is, of course, ChatGPT. And uh, I would suggest... Uh, Everyone who is not, uh, I mean, if you, if you, if, if it's okay for you to say goodbye to 20 euros per month, um, then subscribe to ChatGPT Plus and uh, try out the uh, Plus features. There are some other options to try out the Plus features without paying uh, for Plus. Uh, you can use other solutions uh, that will be mentioned later on in the presentation, which kind of have a little bit of Plus features per day, um, but Still, if if um, for us, uh, ChatGPT was a game changer in the beginning when it was born and when it was shown up, when, when they just showed it up, I, I honestly didn't really understand how impactful this will be to, to our business. But like, you know, two hours later of analysis and working like, you know, with the prompts and everything, and we just started um, working with that. So the first tool that I use every single day, uh, the first extension and the first... Um, solution for me that is uh, the key one is Merlin. I mean, you've probably heard about Merlin. Um, it's not the one, you know, from uh, from the books. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's the one that gives you the uh, cast the spell and gives you an answer. Um, there's a free option and a paid option. For me, free option is enough, really. For you, I believe, um, as well, you can, you know, you can type in a string and uh, you get about 50 queries per day. Um, if for you, chat GPT, not chat GPT, but GPT free model, language model is enough. Uh, if you want to, to upgrade or to advance to GPT-4, which is slightly better um, in terms of, I mean, it's not better in terms of uh, lying because it still lies. Uh, but, um, and this is probably the key uh, takeaway, like, you know, for me uh, from using the whole, um, GPT solutions and, uh, and and everything. I mean, it's like it's not always true, and 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 you have to understand that. I have to be very very critical about everything that 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 it tells. So, for example, um, right here, um, I installed uh, Merlin. Um, you're on the browser. Um, all you need to do is just like you know, type in, uh, use the, your keyboard, to type in Command M or Control M, and Merlin pops up. And uh, it asks you, what do you want? So here I write down that I wanted B2B, B2B marketing um, topics, you know, top examples. And it gave me uh, several. You can scroll down, read them if you want to. Um, as well, uh, I asked for a joke. And here's one. So like, you know, the joke is, why did the B2B marketer cross the road? And the answer is very simple, to get better brand visibility on the other side. It's funny. It's okay. It's a little bit punchy. I like it. I mean, in general, you can use for many, many, many solutions uh, and many um, ways to 
sort of uh, ease up your day. Uh, it means that you don't have to, every single time, you don't have to go to, to chat.openai.com and uh, you just type in command M or control M uh, depending on the on the operating system and um, it pops up. So it's there every single day. It's like a, like a personal assistant. And and for me, that's, I wouldn't say that's like a lifesaver, but it's it's a cool feature because when I'm, for example, when I'm on LinkedIn and I want to write a comment to somebody, I don't have to write it myself anymore. I just, you know, select the text, um, type, you know, click Control M and uh, or Command M, and then uh, you know Merlin suggests me something to 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 write um, to that person. That's it. Um, the same uh, um, similar solution can be used from this another solution which is called um, ChatGPT Writer. So the issue with Merlin, even though it is a perfect, it's it's a great tool. Is it's 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 it costs you money if you want to use more than fifty uh, you know queries per day. Um, if that is uh, something that's like you know too much and um, and and or, or too little for you to use, uh, then you can use um, other free solutions like for example ChatGPT Writer. So here is an example. Um, you can always see like you know the links uh, towards uh, the tech. It does exactly the same. I uh, click uh, Control M, Control C, or Control whatever you want. Control you you, you decide the command that uh, you want to in initiate the dialogue with the with the chatbot it has the uh, it, it opens the prompt you tell him what what to do it it gives you a response um another option which i love um and another extension which i love is uh chat gpt for search engines um it's called like chat on on, on ai so whenever it's the love the thing that why I, I like it so much is because it's so seamless has such, such a seamless integration with uh, Google search um, you're just on Google and for example here I asked Google what do what to do in Spain in March and um, I have a list of uh, links that I can read but like on the right there's a column where you know the tool just gives me uh, something that chat GPT created um, right a while ago and uh, it's there it's there for me to use you can use it for you know to to find ideas um to just deep just just basically any, anything like when i'm starting from uh what to eat what to have for lunch or uh, why, why you know for example russia invaded ukraine um it gives you answers and explain you the reasoning why this invasion happened and uh, why that country you know caused that um it also speaks in multiple languages. So here I tried to write something in Lithuanian. I wrote uh, in Lithuanian because Lithuanian is my, is my mother tongue. So I wrote like, you know, what can I, you know, what, what can I make for breakfast from uh, milk and, uh, and eggs? And um, it gave me, a, you know, a suggestion like, you know, you can do waffles, you can do um, something else like, you know, pancakes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it, it speaks to you in the language that you, that you choose to, you know, engage with Google. Um, another extension, which is very helpful for me, um, is uh, YouTube summary. So the issue with YouTube sometimes is that uh, some videos are very, very interesting, uh, but sometimes you have no time to listen to them. So I came up with the uh, with, an, with an, a great uh, solution for that. Um, so this is the case um, of uh, MKBHD. He has like you know, an, an, an awesome YouTube channel which uh, at least I do follow and I, I, I enjoy following it and learning about tech from him. And um, some of his videos are very insightful. Some of them are quite long. Um, in this one, I just uh, popped in an extension, which is an, a Chrome extension, and uh, it gave me a transcript. So what I do next, I go to ChatGPT and I asked it to write me a summary and after it wrote, wrote me a summary of that, like in a long 10 minutes uh, video, um, I put it into another extension, which is also like, you know, on, uh, on, 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 um, on the slides. Um, the tool is called Natural Reader. And this Natural Reader solution um, just read it in a normal, not robotic, but human language. And you can see an example right away um, after after this, um, uh, Clarice, can you help me? 
In this presentation, we will explore the role of AI in digital marketing and how it's being utilized in managing daily Google Ads and Facebook Ads campaigns at APG Media. We'll discuss the challenges faced by APG Media in managing campaigns on these platforms and the AI-powered solutions they've implemented to overcome these challenges. We will then delve into real-world examples and case studies demonstrating the success and challenges of AI-driven campaigns on Google Ads and Facebook Ads platforms. Finally, we will discuss the future of AI in marketing and how to prepare for upcoming AI technologies and trends in Google Ads using ChatGPT and other AI tools. Thank you. We can move back. So, so the idea here is very simple. It's like you, know, you, take, uh, you take the tech, um, you do the scrum transcript, um, and then you just copy the text uh, to, the, uh, to the natural reader, and it reads it out loud. And uh, you can save it into WAVE, MP3 file, or whatever you know, format that you choose. And um, then you can listen to that in the car or, or while, while you, I don't know, walk the dog or something like that. So, so that, kind of, that kind of approach just, so I just, it's just amazing how, how simple now it is to choose what you want to consume and what, what, what to, you know, to listen and to, and, and uh, use. Um, so, so we started with uh, what tools I use personally in my daily life. Um, nowadays, and I, and I want to move a little bit forward uh, to exploring, um, you know, the uh, actual cases uh, of the agency life. So for us, first of all, um, both ChatGPT and, and other AI solutions, they provide something which is super valuable. That's enhanced, uh, you know, efficiency. Um, our our team costs more because you know they are more valuable and um, they deliver more they produce more they're more they're, they're more efficient and um, they can create more content and create more you know for our clients so we can be more productive we can deliver more and um, all of us have the same amount of time per day um, you choose yourself how to operate within that time frame um, you either you know walk from home to office and spend an hour walking or you take a ride and you you know spend 20 minutes in the car maybe 50 minutes in the car and then you are in the office the, the office the rest of the time um, or the same as with the creativity um, and the efficiency you can either you know write the text yourself by hand you can write it yourself uh, you know with the keyboard or can you use or can you can use ai and um, instead of uh, spending 20 minutes or two hours creating a piece of content you can now create that in you can create actually three pieces of content in two minutes and say that two of them are garbage and uh, just leave the one that is okay um the same is with the improved personalization. So here for us, uh, the key takeaway is that the ads, um, like one of the mind blowing things when uh, Facebook created uh, the Facebook dynamic ads was that finally there was something in the market that allowed us to personalize the ads towards the customer and helped us, uh, you know, create uh, those ads in a way that uh, they really, uh, the, the, the clients really saw the products that previously uh, you know they engaged with on the on the store and um, this is something that we can use now as well with with text and and um, image creation with the uh, with the help of ai so even i when i present for example something new to a potential client um i don't go to our designers anymore and don't ask them you know to create sketches because this is a waste of their time because I'm not sure if the client will really work with our company. Um, so what I do, I just go to ChatGPT. I, um, you know, ask it for uh, a prompt uh, to create something on Midjourney. And then on Midjourney, I uh, create that image uh, using the prompt that, um, you know, that ChatGPT created. And um, I put that on my presentation. That's it. It takes me like five minutes and uh, there's a sketch. 
Um, the same as with the data-driven insights. Um, we, uh, we use both regression analysis and correlations and everything to understand why things happen, how to, um, how to estimate what will be the impacts of, um, let's say, budget increases or decreases. And um, now we can just do that with the help of dragging the numbers to the system and it's there. Um, we even have formulas within Google Sheets that uh, talk to ChatGPT to sort of give me, pop out the answers when I uh, pop in the, the numbers towards, you know, regarding the campaign results. So this is um, it's like we have like a data scientist within our team that does not require um, to be paid and does not require to uh, to even 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 have a, like you no know, days off so this this is awesome this is this is great and we we love that like the whole team really um enjoys having that kind of assistance we, regarding real time optimization i mean imagine the case like we already had the cases when uh we wrote scripts mm, that uh, sort of when the campaign was very successful and um we uh, at the sort of close of the uh, mid middle of the day um, the uh, cost per conversion was super low. Uh, we automatically, or not we, but like, you know, this solution automatically uh, increased the daily budgets. And um, it kept spending the money because it, return investment uh, was um, was positive. I mean, was in, 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 in a way that the client was expecting. It was like something like six, seven hundred percent, um, which is what the client was expecting. So this real, real time optimization means that you don't we don't have to check every single account every single minute. So it means that we can work with more accounts, we can be more productive and more efficient, and then we can grow. We can grow faster and more and and, and you know more rapidly. Um, I'm learning that, and for me, this is uh, one of the uh, takeaways of the uh, this game changing solution. Um, so the future of AI marketing. Um, I believe that even more sophisticated uh, tools and platforms will emerge. I mean, this is ChatGPT. Uh, uh, yes, it's version two because version one was this 3.5 GP GPT and um, this is the GPT-4, but it's still a super, super baby. Um, it, imagine in the human you know, life, lifespan, uh, I would say that it's like probably three months or two months old. And um, I believe that uh, you know, keeping um, both with uh, with the solutions, keeping up with the solutions, um, will make all the agencies and all the all the companies uh, more productive and, and, and more efficient. I mean, you will be able to do more, simply more, uh, and uh, this is amazing. Uh, I believe that you have to stay informed regarding AI, AI developments because this is the new next thing. This is just like you had to understand everything about Google search and everything about, um, you know, Facebook ads and et cetera. Now, and, and, and SEO, now we have to understand everything regarding the uh, AI developments because this is where the not even the trend, but the, the whole marketing sh is shifting. And um, if you are intentionally choosing to ignore this you will be left behind because in five years or ten years the key takeaway or impact of ai on all the businesses will be that there will be businesses that work with ai every single day and there will be businesses that are dinosaurs so you have to choose yourself on which side of the fence you want to be and um as more companies adopt AI, the digital marketing landscape will become yeah, more, more more competitive, of course, because every single agency can now deliver more. We still have the same amount of agencies. We have the same amount of clients but and the same amount of labor force because the teams have not shrunk, but the teams can now create more and now can produce more. And uh, they're willing to take on that. So it means that uh, there simply will be uh, um, cases when agencies will go out of, go out of business because uh, they were not competitive enough. And um, so regarding the solutions themselves, how do we, how did we start and what, where are we now? 
So we started probably uh, several years ago when Jarvis uh, was on, you know, on the on, on the rise. Uh, then it was renamed to Jasper. Um, now we actually dumped uh, that tech because it costed us around 300 euros per month, and um, and uh, ChatGPT costs us 20 euros per month. It does the same, so why would we use Jasper? Um, similar th similarly to some other solutions, so I think Canva is the one that's uh, created uh, those four images uh, on the right. So if you use Canva, uh, you can uh, type in, you can use AI you know, to write prompts and to make it create something uh, for you. I think it uses DALI um, you know, to, to deliver output um, this is not mid-journey level or, you know, mid-journey five level of uh, AI image creation, but it's still good for some sketches. And uh, if you want to create a presentation and need some new ideas, um, it's a very simple thing. And uh, based on your, you know, um, plans, uh, it, in, in some cases, I think it's even free of charge. Um, so how do we use uh, ChatGPT every single day? For us, uh, one of the uh, game changers was uh, the API integration. So when uh, ChatGPT released API integrations, uh, we instantly found out cases with uh, Google Sheets uh, where we could simply create, um, simply integrate the uh, ChatGPT through API into Google Sheets and Google Docs. And um, it meant that we didn't really have to go anymore to the site and uh, we can work from the sheets. And here is a very simple you know, prompt, which uh, sort of asked it to create 10 long tail keywords about shoes and there's the outcome. So imagine that um, you just copy that strings and you have and you rename shoes into bikes, sneakers, um, books, whatever. Um, you can ask it then to translate those keywords into whatever language. Um, then what we usually do, we always create a um, set of rules that will say, look, we want to, you to create the Google Ads uh, um, headlines. Headline, you know, has to be no longer than, let's say, th 30 symbols. Or we want you to create the description. Make sure that it's no longer than 90 symbols, et cetera, et cetera. So um, all these descriptions and headlines and everything, it just creates them. So you do that with, you create the campaign, you write, write down the category um, where the uh, campaign sort of is 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 is, is, is for is working in or you know is is, is operating in um, and then you just replace the um, say several keywords and do the dra drag and drop or um, you know copy paste of uh, cells to the bottom and it creates instantly you the outputs i mean not instantly you have to wait a little bit like 5 seconds or maybe 10 seconds but it's still there and it's operational and um, like I said before, otherwise you have to do that yourself. Um, with that option, you just create it. So it can create, it can create maps, tags, codes, um, everything that ChatGPT can actually do within its own interface, um, tables. And uh, this is an option, or this is one of the outputs that we created uh, just to showcase how this is, you know, done. So I asked it to create me um, and um, a function which uh, runs within Google Ads. It's like, it's, it's a script. So Google Ads has Google Ads script code in it. And um, I asked them that function to stop the campaign on Friday. So basically uh, what I did, I if you copy paste that code to, um, uh, to Google Ads account, um, it will ask you, you know, which campaign you want to to pause and uh, it will you know run this uh, script on friday and on friday it will come that will, will pause that campaign that's that's it that's a very simple you know request which we had 
Um, funny thing with those requests and um, let's say Google Ads scripts is that sometimes it doesn't really work, not in terms of working um, um, like a model, but in terms of lying. Um, so, for example, the case uh, was quite interesting with uh, one, uh, one, one set when I asked uh, the, the solution to create me a script uh, to publish a YouTube video on, uh, not to publish, but to promote a YouTube video uh, on uh, Google Ads uh, to create a separate campaign for that YouTube, YouTube video to put the link, which I, I, I added um, to the, um, to, you know, just to ChatGPT. And uh, I asked it to start running that campaign uh, on Friday, you know, and uh, let's say March something and uh, end it on March something else. And the budget was supposed to be like 500 euros or something. Um, so it wrote me a script. I ran the script um, in Google Scripts and uh, it popped out with uh, a very interesting answer saying that, sorry, um, apparently, so there was an error. I put that error back into, um, into ChatGPT and uh, it told me that it didn't really know at that point, but apparently Google Ads Scripts does not support YouTube video campaign creation from scratch. So it asked me to create the campaign manually and then to run some scripts to put in the video, you know, targeting, et cetera, et cetera, which was already pointless because if you, if you have, you know, if you're familiar with Google Ads accounts, uh, you know that uh, when creating a YouTube video campaign, I think half of the job is set up within the first steps of campaign creation because you know you set up the budget you set up the dates etc etc and um and uh, for me that at that point the uh, skip was already pointless the funny thing is that it lied me to it lied to my face in the beginning saying that look um it just spit out um this script which apparently worked i ran it it didn't work then i asked it why it spit it out and it said that sorry it forgot that it didn't really know that you know these campaigns uh, these types of campaigns could not be created so to my um I, my feeling was 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 that i was just amazed why it didn't just tell me right away that look man sorry i cannot you know you you, you cannot create create the scripts that creates the uh, you know YouTube video campaigns, and that's it. Uh, Why do you have to write that script from the beginning, which was fake? So we we also use um, in many cases the solution to identify customer segments, but that was from you know probably um, early early two thousand somethings when uh, the uh, when Facebook lookalike audiences uh, popped out. Nobody really really knows what exactly is in these audiences, but everybody knows that lookalike audiences are, in many cases, more efficient than uh, simple targeting. So AI is already there, and uh, there's a little bit of black box because nobody really knows what is in that black box, what is in that lookalike audience. There's some magic, um, but there's no 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 real answer, you know, towards that how to make it more efficient or, or or less efficient because it's just the way it is. Um, the same is with the personalization of tailored messages. So we do that every single day and we love it. And uh, for us, it makes our life easier. We do copy creation. And this is, I think, like 90% of the time saving for us, which AI helps because next to running and creating blog posts and uh, creating scripts and creating um, like the key I think issue with uh, blog posts and and AI working with it is that you have to not just fact check but like let's say let's call it um, truth check because in many cases uh, it's just it's just garbage of of 
lies. And I, I, I will show you those examples when it really happens. Um, full of something so it's full of suggestions is so confident of itself and it it believes that it uh, tells you the truth and you read it out and 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 you think that wow this is so amazing i have to do that and then like five minutes later or like two minutes later you understand that half of that is just nonsense not because the words don't make sense but because they do make sense but it's just untrue um, still, it helps you to understand the predictive analytics and forecasting, and it helps us with, us with real time performance monitoring. So this is the case of for one of the uh, at Google Ad scripts which we created, and uh, here it asked us to, that the chat GPT simply to create a script which uh, um, exports uh, the Google search terms into Google Sheets um, if those search terms are inefficient and send them to, to us by email. That's uh, That worked. Um, of course, after a couple of uh, tweaks, because in the beginning, uh, the script didn't work, but then you write it, you know, the error, and it just, you know, re rewrites it. And I think after two or three rewrites, it was already working. The good thing is that, you know, anyway, it took us about 15 minutes to create that from scratch. And it's less than it will take me to, you know, dig into action script, understand, uh, um, how exactly, you know, things work with uh, Google Ads scripts and uh, what is the code there and, and how to write everything properly and, and, and write. Um, so final thoughts. Uh, I think from my side, one of the key tips would be like, you know, integrating everything uh, into your business would be to start small and to scale because, you know, I mean, you can do that. Just start, start small. And um and step by step grow. Um, keep the human touch because that stuff is so beautiful, but there's so much, so much lies, you know, in every single sentence that it spits out that is just it's just horrible. Um, yeah, leverage data for insights. I mean, it can help you be beyond, be more creative, just like you know, probably Photoshop helps you be more expressful before, you know, let's say paint that. That was before that, and um, it's it's more it's it's more efficient thing. It's next step. Still, you have to you know fact check it, um, and uh, foster the culture of learning, experimentation. And there are some tips that uh, I think I can uh, share with you later on after the conference because I just asked the uh, Chat GPT to sort of write me down a list of. Uh, uh, tips on integrating everything into you know marketing a, integrating ai into marketing strategy i'm not going to going to read out them out loud because you can read it yourself but it, it's 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 a fun the way the recap is uh, still that ai plays a crucial role in the life and in will it will be a part of your life despite whether you want that or not you will just be either on one side of the fence or the other and final thoughts thing with the AI is that yes, it does sound confident, but it lies so much. Like I, I mentioned that 50 times already, but I cannot like, for example, um, I asked the tool to suggest, like I, I'm, I'm staying now in Spain in Lorca, which is uh, near Almeria region, in Almeria region. And uh, I asked it, you know, for suggestions, like on what to visit when I'm here. And it told me that I should visit a water park and a zoo. And uh, there are these things just don't exist here because, well, they are not here. Uh, then I thought maybe I, I'm a tourist. Maybe I don't know because I also started Googling, you know, for these things like uh, the uh, technology museum, which was not there. Um, and said so maybe I, I didn't know how to Google. So I decided to fact check once again if it knew something about Vilnius, where I grew up in, and um, it just wrote the same. Look, if you are with kids in, in Vilnius, go to zoo, which is a non-existing thing. There's no zoo in Vilnius, um, especially with the 300 species of animals. Uh, then it wrote that you can go to the uh, you know mountain of crosses, which is, I think, 400 kilometers away from Vilnius. Then it suggested something else, which is, I think, it was also three or 400 kilometers away from Vilnius. So in theory, it's kind of wrote things down, 
they do make do they do sound smart or, or at least not fake but most of them are just fake and um they are they are untrue so that's the key takeaway uh take uh, AI with a grain of salt and not with a grain of salt but you know, with a whole basket basket of salt uh, because it's here but it's still in its early baby stages cool. and I think we can move on to the questions yes thank you Arimas for your wonderful presentation I think you've brought up a lot of good points about AI and uh, we have a number of questions here, actually. There's a question here. Is there a way to use AI in Google Ads without scripts currently? Um, I wouldn't call that uh, AI. I mean, you can, you can use rules. So basically, Google Ads supports rules. Um, and you can, um, for example, select a bunch of campaigns or a bunch of placements or a bunch of... Uh, biddings and uh, select them and create those rules and you can say that I want you to increase the budget or the bidding on a certain audience if uh, the audience return investment is higher and uh, decrease the bidding if the return investment is lower um, so these rules you can use them um, but they are not AI it's just something that you you know create yourself as a set of rules before the campaign is launched or when the company campaign is launched and you want to optimize it. Um, so I think here, uh, if you want, if we want AI to be a part of our daily, daily life, the way to use that without scripts is for, let's say, content copywriting and, and uh, you know, copywriting in keyword research. So before AI, you had to go to Ahrefs, you had to go to SEMrush, uh, some of these tools had free plans. Some of had some of them had paid plans. Um, now you can just you know go to AI and uh, ask it for 500 keywords, ask it to categorize those keywords. Then you can ask it to create the campaigns, structure them into campaigns, and um, you know write the ads, the copies, and also write the prompts for the images uh, for Google Display Network banners. So it just does that if you if you ask it and um, the outcome will be there the only issue is that you still have to double check it because like i mentioned sometimes it will be untrue cool and we have the next question is uh what are the key improvements if you should compare the free version of gpt and the plus version whether they should be paid the 20 dollars i guess mm -hmm. so Honestly, I didn't notice them. So it's kind of, it's supposed to be more like smarter. It's supposed to, you know, know more and, uh, and uh, tell you a little bit more in depth, you know, things. So a couple, a couple of things I noticed, uh, I, I um, created the bedtime story, you know, with the uh, GPT, um, you know, for kids. So before uh, the plus version, I created it and it was okay. It was fun. Uh, but like I, I, I read that bedtime story to my wife and she was like, yeah, but it's, I noticed that this is AI. And then I used the plus version and uh, I, I, I asked it to create a bedtime story, you know, about a monkey and, 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 and the bear and how they went to the moon and et cetera, et cetera. And it wrote in a such a beautiful way that it sounded like you know it was written by an actual person. So if you want to if you want to write bedtime stories where you don't care about facts, then this is an awesome solution. But if you want to write an article, then this is not really an awesome solution. And the horrible thing about AI is that imagine that currently there are hundreds of people that are just not hundreds but thousands and millions of people that are just using AI to generate content for the blog posts and they're not reading them and then just putting them on the blogs. And suddenly you end up with Googling and using Google and you find out that somewhere, somewhere in Vilnius there's a zoo and it's, that's a place to go with your kids. And the reason why that happened because somebody you know, used ChatGPT to 
create and generate that article and they didn't read and didn't do the fact check. Um, and I'm pretty sure that in a couple of um, years or even months, they, you will not really be um, sure, even when using Google, whether that's uh, a factual finding that you found on the first pages of Google or not, because there will be so much AI generated content, which will not be fact proofed and, you know, truth proofed. Cool, right. Thank you very much, Arimas, for your time today. And unfortunately, we have running short of time, so I have to stop us right there. But thank you very much for, for all the wonderful insights you have shared about how to use the AI in our everyday life, especially for marketers, definitely an essential tool. And if anyone's going to contact you, they can drop your email address. That's what you have shared earlier. And thank you very much. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. See you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. This is all we got. Dreaming about a revolution in our minds. This is all we got. Let me out of this life institution. I am angry and I am illusions. Yes, I hate, but it's not a solution. Try my best.